Hello, dancers, and welcome to day 11 of our Corona Quarantine Daily Vlog. Teacher Joel here, and today we're going to talk about the spin turn that is used in both our waltz and our quick step. In today's vlog, we're going to split it up into three different parts. Part number one will be for beginner level dancers, part number two for intermediate, and part number three for advanced level dancers. Now, if you are an intermediate or an advanced level dancer, please watch the beginning of this video and go through everything step by step. And if you are a beginner level dancer, feel free to watch the whole thing and learn some other things as you progress as a dancer. So let's get started. Beginner level dancers, let's create rotational energy through contra body movement or what we call CBM. So leads, let's go over step number one of our natural spin turn. Here I'm going to dance backwards with my left foot. And the technique that I'm looking for you to develop is the idea of rotation with your right side going backwards and your left side going forwards. And at the same time, your left foot, which is going backwards, starts to mimic or mirror that same CBM action. So it will not be good enough to just go straight backwards with the left foot and create CBM with the body. We are looking to impact or create an action at the feet level, hence the red socks. So here's teacher Joel going backwards as a lead. He's rotating with his body, creating some CBM, and hopefully you can see down below, the left foot has also started to turn to the right. This will help to now precede the pivot that the lead needs to dance for step number one of the spin turn. Ladies, on step number two of your spin turn, so here I'm gonna dance step number one, following the man's CBM. Now here we're going backwards for step number two and I as well as I'm dancing backwards as a lady or as a follow create some CBM on step number two and notice what's happening with my left toe. It is also turning to the right. It is following the CBM, the contra body movement. I come up, brush my feet and then come out on step three. One of the big misconceptions when we're doing a natural spin turn, especially as a beginner, is that we either just go straight backwards and try to crank around, or we understand or have heard someone talk about CBM, but we don't let the contra body movement affect our feet. And I really want you to make sure that that is happening. Now, one of the things that we can do to kind of um, train ourselves is to Take something like a water bottle. It could be a foam roller, although it's quite big, or even just your hand. And I'd like you to place it on your chest or on your sternum. And as you do step number one, so I'll do this as a lead, I'm now creating some CBM. And I'm noticing that the bottle is now turning into a different alignment. As I do that, I want to be able to feel within my body, is my left foot, is my foot going backwards, creating that same angle of change in the alignment of the foot, or am I going straight back and then creating rotation with my upper body, but my lower body is not following. Step one for the man or ladies follows here, step one, and then step two, here's my CBM, and I want to be able to feel like my chest is rotating, my shoulders are rotating with my chest, and my foot is rotating as well. Let's move on to an intermediate level um, action for the spin turn. I'm going to still talk about the necessity to, to have that pivot or that rotational energy with the feet, but we're going to make sure that we don't cheat the turn. So intermediate level dancers, I want you to make sure that you actually complete your pivots through your left foot. So leads, here's your step one, zoop, and ladies or follows, Here's step one, and then here is your action on step two, Zoop, and then out you go. So leads, let's talk about the misconceptions or the big problems that we usually have. This is what I usually see intermediate level dancers do. They'll go backwards maybe with some CBM, the foot is turned, great. They put the heel down too early and they start to now take step number two like this. If you notice a few things, my feet are pointing in totally opposite directions. They should be parallel. Second thing, if you notice, my legs are now apart instead of being together. And third thing, step number two right now is sideways when it should be forwards. So what we're looking to do is, yes, we have the CBM. We are going to keep the legs 
in the same position throughout step number one before I dance forwards on step number two. I'll repeat that. The legs stay in the same position. Ladies or follows, this is the same thing for us. As we're going forwards on step number one, a lot of the times the ladies will go forwards on step number one and then they'll swing open the legs in a sideways action. Sometimes the foot will stay stopped and then they'll try to turn with that left foot. Yeah, and therefore again, the feet aren't parallel and the legs are starting to look a very awkward or uncoordinated manner. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper, a scrap piece of paper. Here's some of my notes for a, a previous vlog. Gentlemen or leads, what we're going to do is we're going to dance step number one, go backwards. As you go backwards now and creating that CBM, you're going to place that piece of paper in between your thighs and you're going to squeeze your thighs so that that paper doesn't fall. As you continue that turn, keep that piece of paper from falling on the ground. If you do it incorrectly, you're going to place the foot back, you're going to start to turn, your legs are going to open, and then the paper is going to fall down. Then you'll know that now your legs are not being maintained in the proper position. I'm going to dance this as a follow as well. Here's my step number one. I'm going to place the piece of paper in between my legs and as I turn, I'm going to make sure that my legs are still together during step number one or the pivoting action for the follows. I'm going to place that down there. All right. Level three or for the advanced level dancers. I want you to be able to understand that we create rotational energy not only from the upper body and the CBM but also from the anchoring action with the hips towards the center of the movement. Again, I'll say that again. The anchoring action of the hips towards the center of the movement. In other words, what we're trying to do is create centripetal energy or centripetal, some people say it either way, um, with our core or our hips. So if I now demonstrate this, gentlemen on step number one, leads on step number one, I want you to make sure that your left as you're going backwards with your left foot and doing the CBM and creating that foot turn and the legs are in, in position from beginner and intermediate level dancing, that your hips continue to dance backwards in a circle, backwards in a circle. Ladies, as we do this on step two, so here's step one. Now on step two, as you're going backwards, onto your left foot as well, ladies. Yes, we will be rising on a toe, but your hips will also be dancing backwards in a circle. Now, one of the big things that we um, higher level dancers think of is having a center connection. And during this rotational energy, what we end up doing a lot of the times is trying to now have that center connection and we now stay with our partner through step number one before going through. And ladies, it would be the same thing for us. You go step number one and then we're gonna go backwards on step two and then we're sticking out our gut and we're trying to stay centered with our partner because we're supposed to, as higher level advanced dancers, have a con consistent center connection. All of this stuff is going to deteriorate the rotational energy that we're trying to create within this figure. So instead, what I want you to do is I want you to feel that you are going to now pull your hips backwards as you dance your backwards rotational energy. So that would be step number one for the leads. You're going to go backwards on step number one. And here I am. I'm holding my waistband of my trousers. I'm going to pull that back and I'm going to continue to pull it back all the way until I complete my turn until I complete my turn. So I haven't pushed myself forward halfway through. I'm going to complete, pleat, pleat, and then I'm going to transfer and go forwards. And that will be the same thing for ladies or follows as we dance step number one. This is your forward action. Step number two, here is my backwards. I'm going to pull backwards towards the center of turn. I'm going to keep on pulling until I finish my three eighths of a turn, and then I will come out toe heel. The big misconception is that we always think about the forward action being the very positive or energetic action. And there is some truth to that, but in this specific video, I'm talking about the rotational energy. I'm not talking about the traveling energy of the partnership. It's about the rotation. And when we become very, very um, specific about our rotational energies, the rotational energy is always created from the person on the inside of the turn. With that in mind, whether we're beginner, intermediate and advanced level dancer and here we are by ourselves away from our partners away from the ballroom I do want you to keep on keep in mind that you 
always, always, always need to um, think about where your partner is while you're practicing. So after you've gone through all of these little exercises, and remember there was that information, there was a contemplation, and then the repetition for five times that I talked about in a previous vlog, um, feel free to take something like a big cushion or a stuffy or um, a foam roller, something that you will be able to hold on to and practice actually dancing that spin turn with the CBM and the foot. We got the CBM, the foot, and the legs staying together, CBM and the foot, and the hips going backwards. And we're going to be really clear about holding on to that, um, that piece or whatever it is, this uh, cushion, and we're gonna make sure that we understand, yes, there's where my partner is, there's where my partner is, and then out we go. And this will really help that when we finally transition back to our normal lives and we can dance with our partners and go to the ballroom and all that stuff that we still have that awareness where our partner is that's it for now thank you very much for watching this video uh, make sure that you go through all those three levels and go through them nice and slowly and diligently and do your repetitions that's it for now teacher joel saying thank you very much and i'll see you in the next vlog